So we've just come to the woods to see one of the research areas where a research scientist has been monitoring the squirrels. But um, we know that there's been bears through here occasionally, so just got to make a little bit of noise on the way in. In theory, they should just run off, but you never know. So this is one of the research areas the scientists have been using just to monitor the squirrels. And there's a couple of camera traps that are on the station here so we can see how many squirrels are coming. But um, we noticed on one of these, a bear has come and just pushed it over. From the look of the footage we've got off the camera traps, it looks like the squirrels are coming across here onto this large tree in the middle and then just gliding straight into the main tree here and then coming down. The cameras we're using are really sensitive to light, but we've got a couple of lights that we're reflecting in just to mimic the moonlight that's out. So we like to set these lights up before it gets dark, just so there's nothing just illuminating the forest. I think it's better that it gets dark and this area just stays light and that seems to be the best way of getting the squirrels in. It's quite amazing when the squirrels come in because they come in so quietly, they flash in overhead and make you jump sometimes, land on a tree right beside you. But they're so, so quick. It's quite hard sometimes to get the camera on them and get them in focus before they're straight out again. We've got one particular character called Norbert. He's a bit chubby than the others and he seems to like coming in and acting for us really. So he comes in and walks right up to the camera. We think it's because he can see his reflection. He seems to enjoy stancing at himself and having a pose, which is why we quite like Norbert because he comes in and seems to want to have a little chat with you before he, uh, before he scurries off again. One of the most unusual things about these squirrels is that they fluoresce under UV light. So when you think you see a glimpse of one, you can turn a torch on and then they shine bright pink. We're noticing the squirrels when they come in, come down these trees just here. And quite often they're scurrying down this central log and then they're jumping off into the moss, digging around for truffles and then running off again. So what's particularly funny, is sometimes when the squirrels come along, in particular Norbert, he comes along and when he's digging for food, he sticks his head straight in and it pulls his hair backwards every time when he comes up, so he looks hilarious. So you might think we're doing a story about squirrels, but actually this is all about a truffle. So the squirrels are coming down and they're not quite sure why they're getting so excited, but there's a truffle in the ground here that gives off pheromones that squirrels are very much attracted to because they think it's a mate and they come down and they dig up the truffles and then race off with them through the forest, probably eat them, and that spreads the spores all through the forest. Just got the shot. Norbert the squirrels come in, he's dug up a truffle, he's turned around in frame, grabbed it in his mouth and run straight up a tree. So yeah, amazing. Just packing up at the end of the shoot, ready to go back. Everything's gone well and uh, even Norbert's come to say goodbye. There he is. Norbert. Well done, thanks. That's a wrap. <laughs>